Hi, so for this problem, it says that Martha leaves an estate of 500000 interest on this estate is paid to John for the first X years at the end of each year, and Karen receives annual interest payments from the end of the year X plus one forever. Okay, effective 5%, and that Karen's interest payments are 1.59 times the present value of John's. Okay, so since Martha leaves an estate of 500000 we want to view this as some sort of lump sum or uh, some sort of loan and that interest on this estate is paid out to John for the first uh, X years. So I guess his payments would just be denoted as P because we don't really know what they are yet at the present value of 5%. For the first X years. And for Karen, she receives annual interest payments from the end of year X plus one forever. So that would mean that Karen receives annual interest payments. Um, and from 1.05 year x plus one from from the end of uh year x plus one forever right which means that since john get, uh, is being paid interest for the first x years um karen starts to receive interest payments from the end of year um x plus one right moving on forever. So Karen's would be, present value would be denoted as at 5%, same as John's, but for an infinite amount of years, and we would have to compensate for the payments that need, that are being deferred here to make this a present value equation for Karen. So that would mean that we would have to denote her payout of interest as this being uh, de deferred, so by being discounted by the amount of years that are missing, that uh, we don't really, we're not even so sure by how many years are missing uh, or deferred in this case. So we will just denote it as X. So now it says that uh, at an annual effective interest rate um, from the end, okay, so the present value of her payments are 1.59 times the present value of John. So that would mean that her present value, B to the X, could also be denoted by 1.05 to the negative X, P times one over 0 0.05 equals to P one minus V to the N, which is denoted as V to the X over 0 0.05. And it says that it's 1.59 times this whole amount, right? So, yeah. Now, we can get rid of the P's. We can also get rid of the 0 0.05s. Um, and I think that we could do is that we could bring this over to the other side. And 
we could substitute 1.05 from the denominator. Um, minus one. So we could get rid of this. And then we would end up getting um, one equals time. And then what I could do is I could distribute 1.59 and then move one 1.59 to the other side. So this would be two. Um, and I could cross multiply. Let me get my eraser. You can do. And then we can do logarithms. So I can take, bring this exponent down. Make this a log part of the logarithm as well. And then And I can get my That would be point four six three. Now I can flip this to the other side. Now I get rid of that. Now I'm going to bring it on 1.05 to the other side. Okay, and I'm going to get that x is equal to 10, which makes this 